Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. This is Tamaya Robles. I am your credit repair specialist, expert. I am the owner of Fix My Credit Now 850.com. I am the host of this podcast, Coast to Coast Credit. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, as you can see in the title, <laughs> we're talking about personal issues and credit repair and basically set up, setting realistic goals. This is really important. Um, I noticed that this is also a common issue. It doesn't happen all the time. I don't hear issues all the time, but enough to address it. Um, and particularly these past several weeks, I've had uh, a client um, who, who basically felt that because of the personal issues that are going on in her life, it should impact her credit score. <laughs> that's just like, that's, that's not how it works. Um, actually, it's a couple of clients, a couple of clients this, these past couple of weeks that have come to me with their personal issues. And because of what they have going on, they're expecting magic to happen with their credit. And that is not the case. <laughs> it's not the case. It's not the case. So I, I kind of wanted to kind of talk about that with y'all and to maybe give some solutions, some suggestions, something. So you could be realistic when it comes to getting your credit repaired. I, I didn't think topics like this ever really needed to be discussed because I thought it was common sense, but you know, common sense ain't common anymore, I guess. So it is what it is, but I don't mind addressing it though, to be honest with you. Um, as long as you guys are educated and have a super clear picture on how credit works, the credit repair process works and so on and so forth, I'm happy. I mean, if I have to address topics that I thought were self-explanatory, it is what it is. I'm gonna make it do what it do. <laughs> anyway, so look it. So, all right, boom. When you have to get your credit repair for whatever reason, whether you're trying to purchase a home, whether you want to get credit cards, whether you just want good credit, whether you're trying to purchase a home, get business credit, what have you, you have to figure out roughly about how much time do you really need and give yourself a cushion because the reality of the matter is the credit repair expert, you people you know cannot expedite the process. This is a process. And the more negative items that you have on your credit report, it's going to take longer than expected, longer than usual to get your credit fixed. And if you have heavy items and then a lot of heavy items on your credit report, it's going to take a little bit of elbow grease, even with the best and the best of them. And I, and I would like to say I am one of the best, the best, you know what I'm saying? I do like to brag about that, you know? Um, also, don't look for perfection. Um, this is not a perfect situation. Your people aren't perfect. Uh, technology isn't perfect. This system is a broken system. The credit repair, FICO and um, Vantage and everything in between, this isn't a perfect system. And the system is actually set up for you to fail. So you have to go into this with that type of mentality. Be realistic. Understand that your, your credit wasn't messed up overnight. It wasn't messed up in a few months. It took years and years of you piling on negative accounts, missed payments, foreclosures, evictions, all of that. All of that was a process. Child support. You're, some people have child support issues that go back years, okay? Missed payment after missed payment. People have student loans that go back 10, 20 plus years. Constant missed payments. Some of y'all don't pay your student loans. You know you don't pay your student loans. You know that. And you know you haven't been. That's why, you know, people were hopping on this Biden thing as far as student loans are concerned. And, you know, I don't support that, by the way. But anyway, <laughs> going forward, right? But th this isn't an overnight process. So you can't expect me or the credit bureaus, the creditors, 
whomever you're dealing with to magically fix your credit because you're going through something and it needs to be done quickly. Like make it make sense. Cause it's, 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 it's not making sense right now. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense for you to think that's going to happen to you. Like for like an example, right? Uh, all right. So I have a, a known client and, um, so she, okay. And it's very similar to like three other clients, like her story is similar to like three other clients I'm dealing with right now. So if they hear this and they think it's them, like it, it may not be you, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause it's like three other clients in a similar predicament, but anywho, so basically they're trying to get a credit cards. They're trying to get a home or whatever. You know what? I'll blend their stories together. Right. So they're trying to get credit cards, trying to get a home. Um, trying to get business credit or whatever, right? Boom. Now the issue is they want this to happen immediately because of their personal situation that's going on in their home. So what's going on in their home is additional family members are coming. Um, uh, th they're trying to give a certain look. Uh, in certain cases, they're trying to provide a home for said family members and they have X amount of time for it to happen. Okay. Good to know. And y'all know that this is a judgment, judgment free zone. So I don't really need to hear the backstory or care to hear the backstory for real, for real, because at the end of the day, everyone wants their credit repaired, right? When they come to me to everyone who comes to me, wants their credit fixed a sapsual, right? Boom. And then everybody has an explanation as to why all of that is. So I get that. So you don't have to really tell me, I know you're in a rush. I know you want this done yesterday. I know you want to like, I get that. So no matter what story you have to tell me, I already know that this is what your situation is. It's urgent. I get it. <laughs> it's urgent for everyone. So keep that in mind, not just you, but the next man and the next man and the next man. It's It needs to be done asexual. However, both of these individuals, well, all three of these individuals, real rap, have a lot going on with their credit, right? So one of them has like, I'm not even going to specify the account, but one of them has multiple heavy items on their credit report. Now, this item is so headache, headache is so heavy and old. It it dates back over a year. And this is a heavy item. Can I remove it? Of course I can remove it. Actually, believe it or not, the first 30 days they were with me, their score jumped tremendously because I got one of the heavy items removed on their credit report. Again, like I stated before, like I say regularly to my clients, this is not an average situation. That's an above average situation. So be grateful that you have above average situations, right? So there's that, but then they have multiple heavy items that are old. Usually that is not an overnight fix. That's not even a 30 day fix, but I'm good at what I do. So it happened. It, it works. You know what I'm saying? But also, I have a method. I do things a certain way, yada, yada, yada. Not everyone does that. And every credit repair specialist, um, expert, what have you, does it like that. They don't always dispute like that. I dispute like that. That's why I get the results that I get. But there are times you're not going to receive those type of results, period. Okay? Not that quickly. And you have to be realistic because, first of all, if you know you need your situation repaired within 30 days and you have evictions, you got child support, you got student loans, you have um, uh, 60 plus thousand dollars of credit utilization that you got to pay down and you ain't got it like that. Listen, then 30 days is not a realistic goal for you. You might want to give yourself about four months, maybe, maybe six months, be smart about it, be realistic about it. But in that person's particular situation, 
they got results, but then they still need to keep going because in, on top of those heavy items, they had other negative items that weren't as heavy, but they were negative. So it is what it is. There's no judgment. I just need to show you guys that based off of these examples that may or may not apply to you, that just be aware that this is your situation. This is what's going to happen. Now, another thing that does also happen that you want to prepare yourself for is sometimes when you fix your credit because you're speaking to the bureaus and the bureaus speak to the creditors and the creditors speak to the banks and everybody is all interconnected. Even though you're getting good results, they kind of do like these bird calls with each other. And I, I, I told y'all this before, actually before the pandemic, I used to tell my clients all the time, like, listen, it's, it seems like when you do better, <laughs> they all talk to each other and say, oh, they're getting their credit fixed. Let's add some accounts. Let's do this. Let's do that. Yeah. So you want to be aware that sometimes you're going to get new negatives that come out of the clear blue. Sometimes you're going to get negatives if you are applying for credit while I'm fixing your credit. And I tell you how to stop doing that, right? You're slowing down the process. You're slowing down the process. I had a client where she was doing good. Her credit was, was slowly recovering. You know what I'm saying? I'm fixing it. She's getting results. Um, and she went from like a 400 and now she's in the 500s going into the 600s as we speak. And, but all of a sudden, I think it was like last month, um, I looked, I've updated her credit report. Lo and behold, there is a credit card that she's on with super bad utilization which dropped her credit score. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, what happened, right? But I can see what happened, but like, wh why would you do that? Her and I had a conversation and she was like, I didn't, that was, <laughs> no, nah, that was something else. So she explained the situation, what happened, and, and we had to quickly get her off and get that removed from her credit report so it can then recover. And, and it did happen. It got removed and all of that, boom, perfect, right? So she was able to bounce back, but it did slow down the process. It slowed down her growth. So you have to think about all of these things when you're considering credit repair, right? Now, let me let me let me give you some additional examples and one of the uh, of on how to resolve this, right? If I'm going to give you some problems, I need to start giving you some solutions, <laughs> right? So look it. So Let's take the fact that you're trying to purchase a home. I don't go into everybody's pockets. I'm just going to assume that you are okay to start thinking about purchasing a home, not getting, but just thinking like, you know what? I'm going to consider purchasing a home prior to me doing so. Let me start off by taking the necessary steps. I'm talking about people that are in that state of mind. So with that being said, one of the first things you need to do <laughs> is to check your credit, right? Go ahead and check your credit. I provide links to purchase your 3B credit report through Smart Credit. I'm partnered with them. I've been with them since I started the game, right? So you go in there, you look at your credit report. I got a deal for $1.99. You guys are always looking for free and deals and discounts. There you have it, right? Go look at your credit report and see if you see anything negative. If you don't have to be a credit repair expert to know that when you see colors beyond green, okay, then it's a problem. So if you're seeing yellows, if you're seeing reds, if you're seeing blacks, not good, no bueno, right? And if you're seeing a lot of negative colors and the score is low, okay, that's an issue. You need credit repair whether you want to do it yourself, which we'll get into in a second, or you want to hire fixmycreditnow850.com, right? Cool. Now, you could also have a decent score and a lot going on with your credit profile and it still needs to be fixed. So focus on the colors. Don't worry about the number. Focus on the colors. Do you have a lot of colors? Then look all the way down at the bottom. Do you have a whole lot of inquiries? Because that's not cool either simple to fix, but it's not cool. All right. Now, if you're seeing a whole lot of colors, right. 
especially if you're seeing reds and blacks on your credit report, you need some work. <laughs> okay, you need some work. There's some work that needs to be done on your credit report. So schedule a free 30-minute consultation with FixMyCreditNow850.com. You're going to get me. You're going to get me, okay? I look at your credit report. I'm very fast with it. It takes me about three minutes to look at a credit report, no matter how messed up it is, right? And I'll talk to you about it, and we'll structure a plan. Part of the plan of action I'm going to have for you, I'm going to ask you, what are your goals? What are you trying to do? Well, I'm trying to purchase a home. Okay, how soon are you trying to purchase a home? Remember, I'm not your lender, so I don't do debt to income ratio. I don't do DTI. I don't ask you what's in your pockets and things like that. I cannot give you an estimate on what you would or wouldn't qualify for on a mortgage. That's not what I'm here for. I have partners for that. I got the Sean Rogers for that. I got the Ganey team for that. I have uh, the Ashland Johnsons for that. I have the Shiana Patrons for that. Okay. So I got you peoples, <laughs> but that's not, I can't do it. I don't know nothing about that. Okay. Now I'm only going to talk about credit and about roughly how much time you need. I can't, as a credit repair expert, I can't pinpoint exactly how it's going to take, how long it's going to take. We can't even sit here and say, uh, per pro, we can't guarantee you anything. So I can't say, I guarantee you I'll fix this in 30 days. I can't do that. All right. But I can give you based off of my experience and my expertise, an estimate on, on average, not above average, not below average, on average about how long this is going to take. So if you're trying to purchase a home, let's say you're trying to purchase a home, but it's like a year away from now, right? It, it Every situation is different, but let's say you have a lot of heavy negative items. Let's say you got repos, two of them. Let's say you got an eviction. Let's say you have a bankruptcy that's less than two years that you need. We're, we're going to take about yeah, like six months. You know what I'm saying? If that, if that, it might come off sooner. It may take a little longer, but six months is a good enough cushion. In my opinion, the way I dispute here at fix my credit now, com, that that's a decent amount of time to get work. Th this resolved, these issues resolved. And also keep in mind when you're trying to purchase a home, your credit report doesn't have to be perfect. Your profile doesn't have to be perfect. You have to have a certain credit score and you also have to have negative accounts, certain negative accounts, closed, zero balance, and possibly deleted. All right. Now, if you have a whole ton of mispayments with a bunch of accounts, things like that, again, I can't it's, it is literally on a case by case basis. So if you're like, oh, okay, I hear what she's saying. I should be good, blah, blah, blah. Don't do that. Schedule your free 30 minute consultation. You know what I'm saying? Let me look at it first and then give you an example. I'm just giving you exam examples off the top of the dome, right? But if you have a whole bunch of missed payments and stuff like that, and you have multiple accounts and you're seeing reds and yellows and oranges and blah, 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 especially on one account. I'm not flipping those missed payments. I'm not going to take the time out to flip each and every one of those missed payments. It's too much on, a, on an account. The fastest way is to delete the whole account. I don't care what it's doing for you or what you think it's doing for you, right? And I'll br bring this up to y'all. If you have multiple missed payments and it's spread out throughout multiple accounts, yeah, that takes time. M missed payments aren't an overnight fix. It's just, it's never been like that, at least since I've been in the game. I can flip missed payments. That's fine. Um, but it, it, they don't, the bureaus just don't wipe it clean. It is a process. It is a process. Slow and steady wins the race, but you don't have to go too slow. Right? <laughs> like whatever. Now let's say, for example, you're trying to get a car they mostly just care about the score. When you're trying to apply for a car loan, as long as you, got the, as long as you have the score, they don't care okay, about what's on the profile and all that other stuff. So I can clean your credit up fairly quickly to get you the score you want. Maybe you just need a trade line, you know, like I said, case by case basis. But again, 
be realistic. If I do need to take heavy items off, give yourself a certain amount of time. Okay. Just be realistic. Now, if you guys are trying to purchase a credit card, there's really no real time frame for that. It, that's a personal preference. Preference. There's no necessity. You don't desperately need a credit card. There's no situation where you desperately need a credit card. Sorry. In my opinion, sorry, you don't. You want one. You don't need one. Got it? Okay. So as far as I'm concerned, I don't care what your situation is. There is no rush for you to get a credit card. Okay. So with that being said, take the time out, the necessary realistic time out to fix your credit accordingly. So you can get approved for credit card, but there's no limit on that time frame. Is, you get it when you get it, fix your credit. <laughs> I mean, that's what's going on. But again, let's go back to the housing set portion of it because most of my clients are trying to purchase a home. My strongest recommendation is if you need to purchase a home within 30 to 60 days and your credit is messed up and it's horrible, do not think that your credit is going to be fixed and you're instantly in a house within 30 to 60 days. It, that's not realistic. So don't put that personal issue on me or my staff, right? You knew I was getting a house. I needed a house in 30 days. You knew that. Yes, I knew that. But I discussed with you what personal issues you have going on has nothing to do with how fast your credit is going to be fixed. That that's not that has nothing to do with us. Again, that's why I circle back to you don't have to tell me your your issues. Like I don't care about your backstory. I don't care about none of that. What I care about is this is on your credit. It needs to come off your credit quickly. The only thing I care about is if it's not yours. If it's not yours, that's something different. That's something different. Then I'll handle your situation differently. But you can't take your personal problems and say, yo, you know I needed a house 30 days ago. And I'll, yeah, I see all 15 deletions you gave me, but I keep getting denied for stuff. First of all, why are you applying for anything while I'm working on your credit? You're going to continuously get denied. And you're also going to collect inquiries, which, as you know, all of this is going to lower your credit score. Let's say it together, everybody. It's going to lower your credit score. And then y'all get mad talking about, oh, credit repair doesn't do anything and people take my money. What's the real story? Is it that you're getting your credit fixed and people are really stealing your money and ghosting you? Or are you getting your credit repaired and then you decide to do things that you shouldn't be doing while your credit is getting repaired for your personal reasons and then it negatively impacts the results that the credit expert is trying to give you and then you blame them. Which one is it for real? No one likes to admit blame. Nobody likes to put their point the finger at themselves. I get it but stop blaming others and kind of take responsibility for your own actions and real talk. We are here at this particular stage in your life with your credit being fucked up because you're not taking responsibility. Now there's people that get their credit repaired and you're, they're like, you know what? I know I fucked up. That's why I'm here. Please fix it. I got goals and dreams I'm trying to accomplish. Do what you need to do. I know I fucked up. Boom. Let's handle it. Now I'm trying to fix it. But then you have another group of clients that are like, listen, I don't know how that happened. And then you know what? It was probably so-and-so. They want to start playing the blame game. I know from my consultations which clients are going to be the problem and which, prob which clients aren't. And usually the clients that blame everybody but themselves are usually the most problematic clients I have. Usually the clients that need something done 
quickly because of personal issues that I can't control. That's literally none of my business. And they want to blame me because they needed something done faster because of what's going on in their personal lives are usually the worst clients. Those are usually the ones that are nickel and diamond me. They're the ones that can't pay on time because it is that the third. And I told you I got to get my kids. They ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> I'm saying. You paid for a service, bro. Pay it. I don't, it doesn't matter what your personal problem, what, what bill collector, what account, what utility bill, what mortgage lender, what rental agent ever asked you, hey, is everything going on okay in your life? If not, it's all right. You don't have to pay me on time with no penalty. It's all good. Don't worry about it. When do you think you want to pay me? In another three to four months until you can get Ray Ray in them? Until you can... I don't know, reconcile with your wife and get back together and things will be PT clean. No, nobody's doing that. So what the fuck makes you think fix my credit nail 850.com is going to do the same thing. Check your personal shit before you get your credit repair in a nutshell. I'm trying to be sweet about it, but in a nutshell, get your personal together. If you need a house in 30 fucking days, you ain't getting it. I'm going to just be a being with you. Because, like, even if I was, let's say in a perfect world, I'm able to wave this magic wand, boom, you got perfect credits right now, go for it. You still actually have to find a house, right? Make sure you have a good lender, right? And then you still have to go through the whole home buying process. So who are you going to blame now? Who are you going to blame now? I actually had this young lady this week go from blaming her realtor. Now the realtor referred her to me for credit repair. So then she eventually blamed me. And then we referred her to a lender. So she's about to blame the lender. Everybody but herself. Mind you, this chick needed a house five months ago, but just started her credit repair services a month and a half ago. And needs to get a house within 30 days. Why didn't you sign up four or five months ago? Like, we don't have anything to do with that. <laughs> the blame game, the biggest issue. The clients with the biggest issues are those that play the blame game. I ain't got time for that. And then you want to talk about how credit repair ain't shit. And I'll do you another favor, DIY. Do it yourself first. Even if you do it yourself, you can go on my website, fixmycreditnow850.com. You can go on the website. On the website, you will see that there's letters you can download. There's a free letter you can download for your personal information, right? You can download, um, you can purchase and download dispute letters. Even if you do it yourself, now you're going to see what we go through. It's not an overnight process. You can't be like, you know what? I'm going to do it myself. I'm not paying nobody. Blah, 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 credit repair, expenses. You can do it yourself. I heard that a billion times. I hear it all the time. You're right. Do it yourself. Right? And then you can see how long this is going to take. Just because you did it yourself doesn't mean that this is going to be an overnight process. It doesn't work like that, man. Be realistic. Be realistic about your goals. Now, but your personal issues, you got to check that shit at the Dizor, man. Seriously, it doesn't matter if you needed an urgent situation. If you're in, a, in a, an emergency situation or an urgent situation, you need your credit repair yesterday, then you should have been fixed your credit. If you didn't, all right, be realistic. Just be realistic. And if you're going to be unrealistic, then don't be a client. Don't call. Don't do none of that shit. I don't even want business from people like you. Real talk. Because you're going to live in la-la land and you're going to become a nightmare client. And all money is not good money. It's, 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 some, it's just not worth it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not worth it. You're not going to stress me or my team out because you're mad that you needed your personal credit fix a while ago. Like, uh-uh. Nah. Be realistic. We'll talk to you about 
you know, roughly about how much time it's going to be and all this, that, and the third. We got you. But other than that, stop it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Hopefully, y'all, um, this was beneficial. I hope it was. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. I know you're hearing this on the airways, but a lot of y'all are also checking me out on YouTube, and I love that, and I appreciate that. I noticed that you guys are checking me out on different continents, different countries. I appreciate that as well. I mean, thank you so much for your support. I, I really appreciate it. I love the fact that you guys are checking out my website. My website, the viewers... And the checkiation of it all is bananas. It's through the roof. The numbers are crazy. I'm talking about thousands, like thousands of people go on my website a month. And it's super cool. I see people downloading the free personal uh, information, dispute letters. Keep that up. You need that. That's very, very, very important, especially when it comes to credit repair. Even if you're doing it, I'm doing it. Definitely just get it done. So download that free PO. Uh, personal information letter. That's really good. It's, it, it works. I use it to this day. Um, especially when I need to get people's personal information cleared up, you only need one name, one address, one employer. If you even want to put an employer on there, I don't have an employer on mine. So, you know, keep the bureaus guessing is what I say. But anyway, but like I said, be sure to check me out on YouTube, check out my, um, Facebook group, Credit and First Time Home Buyers Club, especially if you're one of those that are considering purchasing a home. We have a lot of home buyer wor workshops going on. There's going to be a whole lot more. Be on the lookout for more interviews. Um, I'm trying to start doing segments and things. I don't want to bore y'all. I'm not going to just, just be on the lookout for some changes. <laughs> but in the meantime, I'm going to let y'all go. I wish you guys the best of luck on your credit journey. You have a good one. Bye-bye.